Bangladesh, Vietnam, Guatemala, Colombia, Ethiopia, and Senegal are home to nearly 450 million people. Many of them are chronically undernourished because they depend largely on rain-fed agriculture for the food they grow, eat, and sell. But the changing climate means rainfall is more sporadic, and that threatens food production. The uncertainty of climate is an ever-present threat to their well-being. Very often when you mention the word climate, people think about climate change, they're thinking about what's going to happen in the next 50 to 100 years, but there's some very immediate risks that vulnerable populations are facing in the next month, in the next couple years, and we want to be able to address those. Adapting agriculture to climate today for tomorrow, or ACT Today, is a Columbia World project led by the International Research Institute for Climate and Society. It's helping these six countries meet their commitments to the UN Sustainable Development Goal to end hunger, achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture. When you look at the numbers, what's interesting is that we've made a lot of progress on hunger and food security over the last several decades, but actually in the last few years, we've seen an uptick in the number of people that are undernourished, according to uh, the Food and Agricultural Organization. Since its start in 2017, ACT Today is focused on ensuring that meteorological agencies in these countries can produce the most relevant, usable climate information. ACT Today also helps decision makers and smallholder farmers get access to that information so that they can use it to grow more nutritious food that feeds more people. By being able to better prepare and anticipate and understand the climate that's coming and have the policies in place, have the decision support structures in place to use that information, this can build incremental adaptation to longer term climate change.